everyone. Today is Friday, December 31st. I'm Jason Floyd, House Bill 2016 Accountability Navigator with the Lane African American Black Student Success Plan Program. Habari uh, Gun. Kaumba, which means creativity. Hi, my name is Holly Johnson Keaton, and I'm the program coordinator for the African American and Black Student Success Program. Kumba, Kwanzaa's sixth principle, means creativity. We are encouraged to always do as much as we can to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. We are very creative people. We know how to create, innovate, build, and make. We are movers and shakers, speakers and doers, African American and Blacks have graced platforms, stages, movie screens, runways, and the cover of magazines for decades. Whether it's visual arts or performing arts, African Americans or Blacks have and can do it all, but our creativity is not limited to kitchens, canvases, or the big screen. African Americans and Black people can be attributed for the creation of many inventions still in use in most homes and industries today, as well as innovations used in fields such as medicine, engineering, and manufacturing. Creativity is something that we don't lack. It's been embedded in us since civilization. I mean, just look at the pyramids in Egypt built with minimal tools, lots of physical labor, and early origins of science and math. Today is a good day to explore your creativity. Have a dance off with friends, pen a poem, paint a picture, or keep working on that ideal you're waiting to share with the world. As we honor the sixth principle of Kwanzaa, let's sprinkle some black girl magic and spread black boy joy. I want to wish Kwanzaa blessings to you and your family today and the days to come. Hi, how are you all doing? Today we're going to be talking about the sixth day of Kwanzaa and Guba Saba. My name is Sean Goddard. I've been here in Lane County for about 16 years. I'm the father of three biracial children, Leah, James, and Jacob. Um, and I'm happy for this opportunity and I'm really glad that we're um, experiencing Kwanzaa with the community in this way. Remotely this year, you know, as uh, it is the COVID epidemic that's going on. But today we're gonna to be talking about the sixth day of Kwanzaa, and that signifies creativity, or kumbaya. And for me, creativity is something that we in the black community have always had to fall back on. We've had to create solutions for things that we either did not have or resources that we greatly needed. Um, I'm fortunate to be living in Lane County right now and working with Boris Silicate, um, working as a lamp worker, doing some glass blowing. My mainstay is lamp uh, woodworking. I do various hardwood curing and uh, carving. And fortunately, because I'm in Lane County, this is one of the epicenters for glass blowing. So I came into that maybe a few years ago, about four years ago. And now that is my mainstay. That's what I can do every day from nine to five to work for myself. That is another thing about the principle of Kumbia, the sixth day of Ngubasaba. It is to create in our community resources and things that benefit us and the community. It's beneficial for me to work for myself, to procure items and sell them to my community for my own sustainability. So that helps to preserve Ngubasaba. It also helps to preserve our community. It also helps to preserve my culture. I'm older in life, I'm 53 years of age. It's really hard to work for other folks. So to have the opportunity through creativity to create things with my own hands, resources that I can then turn over into the community. And it reflects the work that I do, it reflects my culture, and it also reflects where I'm at in the present moment. So that honors the Kwanzaa tradition 
of actually bringing resources back into our community and having us prosper from those things. Like I said, I find myself very fortunate and honored to be in a position where I can create with my own hands, my own intellect, and my own heart and soul. And those things are translated in the works that I do. So every time that someone receives art from me, they're receiving a little bit of me. And in that sense, they're receiving a little bit of the black diaspora. And as you can see, I have a couple of different things here. Um, some of the items I have here are Christmas ornaments um, that have been manipulated out of borer silicate tubing. Um, different things and elements have been added, such as silver fuming and gold fuming. That gives it the cloudy effect. A lot of the other elements that I'm working with are glass hearts, where sometimes I'll have types of images imploded inside of them, giving it a spectacular finish as though it's a flower or a rose. And on these, these are just simple hearts being overdone in heart. Have a few different symbols which signify the zodiac. This one is in representation of my older sister, Velda, and this is the symbol of Libra. Once again, borosilicate silicate and glasswork, it's giving me the opportunity to create, but also expand my knowledge base in a bunch of variety of areas. One, color co combinations and coordinations. I'm learning to do and work with colors that I've never had the opportunity before. Also, my voice, my spirit is being translated into the work. So I feel like as though legacy is being created because when I'm long gone, these works will still be there after me. Um, recently, I was able to help some young people create a narrative of the Lewis and Clark adventure through the eyes of York, who was a black slave that many people did not know of. Just being in this region, in the Pacific Northwest, is giving me an opportunity to not only tell stories of people from the black diaspora, but to also be a person of color retelling those stories, which I think is very significant. Once again, I've been working with the Boris Kit for maybe about four and a half years here in Lane County. It's given me the opportunity to uh, be financially self-sufficient, open doors and avenues that otherwise would have been closed. Um, the sense of pride that I can work from nine to five every day and the resources benefit myself and my children, I think is one of the greatest gifts that I can offer to talk about what creativity brings in the black community. We have constantly been creative with our, with our hands and we've been creative for others. So this is now an opportunity to look at what happens when we create for ourselves, for our community, and for our benefit. So to be given the opportunity to speak about creativity, I can speak of 53 years of trying to create for other people in construction, working very hard in culinary. I've always been able to do for other individuals because I've worked hard but I rarely had the opportunity to work that hard for myself and be prosperous. That's what this is for me. That's what creativity has given me because I've led a creative life most of my existence. I'm able to now benefit from that. I tell people sometimes, stand firm in your convictions, lest they become your downfall. If somebody would have told me that I would be able to create with these hands to feed myself and to house myself and to clothe myself, I would have not thought it possible. But because of my culture, my community, and the people and the elders that have raised me, I've stood long enough to see it to come to fruition. And that in itself is priceless. So creativity is something that we all have. Um, I believe we have it as a cumulative good in our lives and we will always be able to benefit from it, same as we learn to walk and we learn to talk and we learn to be with community. Creativity is in that same vein, that you are, your creativity is always growing and if you're given the opportunity to foster it, you may even become sustainable and self-sufficient. That's what my culture in Kwanzaa has taught me. 
it taught me to stay creative, to stay giving back to the community, and to stay looking for opportunities to create more in the future. I've gone from construction to woodworking to lumber work, uh, plastering, plumbing. All these different things were fostering my creative nature and helping me to become the creative individual and artist that I am now. Once again, standing firm in my convictions allowed me to see these things come to fruition. And like I said, it is priceless and it is definitely an honor and a blessing to share that with other folks. Definitely in the county that I've invested 16 years with my children, helping other people, working at Lane Community College, now working with CALP in the Community Alliance for Lane County. These are the things that creativity will bring you in your life. Um, this reminds me of the life of Pi, where the guy is like all these different avenues of spirituality brought him to the religion that fed him the most. I feel creativity is in the same vein. You're constantly creating and creating in your life and it fosters something very unique. It fosters the ability for you to be part of your community uniquely in your own way, through your own art form, through your own soul and spirit. So to me, that's Kumbia. That is the sixth day of Angela Saba. Hey everybody, my name is Ame Okosio Yekan, I use she, her pronouns. I'm a local community member and alumni of the University of Oregon, an environmental consultant and scientist and an artist. And I tend to be a bit quiet and shy, but when I'm creating, um, I get to be whoever, whenever, wherever I want to be. And I often find I'm able to connect with people and communicate with people in a way that's not really possible through everyday speech. So uh, in recognition of the African-American holiday, Kwanzaa, I prepared something special for you all. Um, and you know, Kwanzaa has seven principles, um, one principle for each of the seven days of the holiday. Um, but it's the sixth principle, Kumba, or creativity, um, that I want to speak on today. So hope you all enjoy it. Kumba. To do always as much as we can to leave our community more beautiful and more beneficial than we inherited it. To do always as much as we can now, isn't that the story of the Black African? I would even go as far as to call us artists. We're earth keepers and truth seekers and way makers and ground breakers. We toiled these soils long before Europe soiled and before the rampage for our gold, salt, and oil. Everything that wasn't given, we made and remade. We turned clay into houses and palms into shade. We painted our stories with the colors of the earth and so some could even call us artists. I mean, what is creativity? but to make something out of nothing. And when this world is falling in and demanding payment for imperial sin, creativity is survival, it's community, it's kin. When this reality denies you, the only solution is to create reality anew. So let's draw democracy. Let's paint purpose. Let's shade in safe space. Let's carve collective joy. We plant the plants that our ancestors planted. We sing praise songs for the skin we've been granted. We keep imagining new ways to exist in our bodies when the world doesn't want our bodies to exist. So we keep dreaming up new ways to exist in our bodies when the world doesn't want our bodies to exist. That takes strength and skill and creativity and one could dare call us artists. Ready or not, yeah, we come.
looking for You don't tell me now Do you promise to funk the whole 